Welcome to another tech tip. Today, we focus on the water sensor safety. This offers protection from unwanted water by turning off the IntelliDrive VFD. The sensor is a compact hardwired device that can detect water down to 1 16th of an inch. Comes with a 15 foot cord and is simple to connect and program. The sensor, when properly installed, as shown here, will illuminate a green light. Beneath the sensor are two probes spaced about half an inch apart. When water completes the circuit, the sensor will indicate red and send voltage to the input. Once the situation is corrected the sensor no longer in water will auto-reset. This however does not mean the IntelliDrive will reset. It is important to know the IntelliDrive will not automatically reset. Any external fault is a hard fault requiring the IntelliDrive to be reset manually. Let's talk a minute about what the inputs are and can do. First, they are a digital signal. Either there is power or no power present. Next, what do we want the IntelliDrive to do when it sees the voltage? The drive could run, fault, or maintain a different pressure. In this case, we want to stop the drive to prevent a potential flood issue. Connecting the sensor is very straightforward, in fact, the instructions are on a label attached to the cord. As you see here, we are connecting to the onboard 24 volt power supply. It will consume the remainder of the onboard power supply. Should you already be using the onboard power supply, an external 24 volt power supply will be needed. The image here shows the 24 volt power supply that is to the right in the yellow oval. These we will use in this example. The other two are the inputs that tell the drive what to do when voltage is applied. Here we see the connections to the drive. The green and white wire are connected to an input. Remember there are two, for programming it is important to note which input you are connected to, you will also note the red wire goes to V plus or positive and the black wire is connected to V minus or negative. We are halfway done. Now we need to program the drive. Now this might be redundant, but before programming the drive it is good to understand what the drive must do when it sees voltage. Here we are trying to prevent a potential flooding issue. So, setting the drive input to fault will accomplish this. Another reminder is that any input set to fault is a hard fault and must be manually reset. Though the sensor might show green the drive will remain faulted until manually reset. To program the drive the first thing you may have to do is unlock the drive. Pressing the password key four zeros will appear. The code is noted and as long as the password has not been changed is four sevens and press enter. Once unlocked scroll down using the arrow keys to I slash O and press enter. Now what input did you connect the sensor to? If you need to scroll again use the up and down arrow keys to change the menu. Once you have the input you are using highlighted you will notice it will say unused. Press enter and then using the arrow keys scroll to highlight fault. Press enter to save the selection. Press the status key to quickly exit to the main screen. Now you are ready to test the sensor. Before mounting the sensor let's test the setup. Start the drive ensuring it is safe to run water by pressing the auto button. Wetting your finger cover the two probes to complete the circuit. This should trigger the sensor to the alarm red state. The drive programmed correctly should fault and stop immediately. As the unit is functioning as desired, mount the sensor in the desired location. And with that congratulations you have successfully connected and programmed a water sensor safety. For more information, please refer to the owner's manual. Thank you and see you next tech tip.